two different scenes, but, but there were actually specific ones that had different strengths, depending on what they were going to need in the film. Yeah, they had, they had different names on the call sheet. You'd, you'd see, you know, for props, it would say Muscle Christine 1, Muscle Christine 2, or I don't know what the cars were for, Wrecked Up, Beat Up Christine 3, whatever they needed. Yeah. Well, let's bring in uh, the man of the hour here, ladies and gentlemen. It's my great pleasure to introduce Mr. John Carpenter. John, we've just been talking a little bit about uh, the process of pulling this movie together and all the cars that were used in the process of this, and, and, and William beating the hell out of Christine, of course, which he loved. So uh, I, I guess to kind of kick it off for you, uh, how did this project in particular come about for you? Was this something that you pursued originally, or was it something they came to you with? What, how did this get started for you? It, there's like a wild auction going on right outside the door. It's, yeah, there's cattle or something being talked about. I had made a movie before Christine that tanked at the box office. It was called The Thing. <laughs> El Tanko. So uh, I needed a job. And uh, my producer, Richard Kobritz, said, have you read this new Stephen King book? It's about a haunted car. And I thought, oh boy, a haunted car. <laughs> and it had been done. And what am I going to do differently? So I, uh, I got involved in it because I needed a gig. And... Uh, I hired this fabulous cast, two of whom have become young auteurs in their own right. Stockwell and Gordon are directors. <laughs> and uh, it came about because it was an assignment at Columbia. So uh, a friend of mine, Bill Phillips, wrote the screenplay. And uh, we went out and shot it. And I hired these bombs here. <laughs> now, how important was it for you to, uh, obviously, every Stephen King book that gets made into a movie, in, at some point or another, goes through changes, because either the book is, is like 20,000 pages long, or, or there's reasons that they can't include everything. And, and it seemed to me like Christine, for the most part, was rather faithful to the book. Uh, but there are certain subtle changes, particularly towards the end. Uh, how important was it for you to, to keep a lot of this uh, as close to the book as possible, or as close to Stephen's vision as possible? Well, look, Christine, the novel, had really great characters in it, so we didn't have to go very far from, away from that. But it had the rotted corpse of the former owner sitting in the back seat talking to Keith all the time. I thought, I don't know about that. That might be really stupid. <laughs> so maybe we'll let Keith carry that part on, you know, by himself, rather than having a conversation with this dead guy. So that's one of the big things we changed. Then we wanted to have some some big ending where the, the car gets uh, butt fucked. So, 